The renovated White House Rose Garden was finally revealed after a month just in time for its moment in the campaign spotlight. The three-week-long project included digging up trees, replacing floral beds with pastel roses and laying down paved walkways. According to the First Lady, the new garden has been designed to fulfill the dynamic needs of the modern presidency. This includes improving drainage, making it accessible for differently able people and making the space more friendly to TV cameras. The renovated garden features a large green grass centre and new limestone pathways. The main rose variety in the garden is the JFK rose, a white flower. President John F. Kennedy was the first one who commissioned the garden in 1961. The garden also includes taller white roses which were in honour of the first papal visit to the White House by Pope John Paul II in 1979. White House officials have said that the renovations were paid for by private donations. The renovation comes as First Lady Melania Trump is all set to deliver her Republican National Convention speech from this garden. The location of the First Lady's speech is a major shift from normal political norms. Federal rules have prohibited the White House from being the setting for expressly political events. So the Trumps will be the first to use the executive mansion for a political convention and not just the First Lady. Donald Trump will also deliver his RNC speech from the White House's South Lawn. The new renovation has also sent social media into a frenzy with people questioning the sudden lack of colour. Many have com compared the new garden's use of pastel colours to Jackie O'Kennedy and her famous roses and crab apple trees which were dug up and relocated during the renovation.